Welcome back to the Kilowatts. Today we're comparing autonomous cars. We're comparing Waymo versus Cruise versus Tesla's FSD. At this point, we've already called the cars here to McKinley Park. This is the, actually the most windy road in San Francisco and Lombard is not available. It's not in Waymo's field of service. So we just called the cars. They're about six minutes away. We've got some GoPros and we're just gonna see which one can get from point A to point B all the way over by the Golden Gate Bridge first. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. All right, guys, let's go. Starting the ride. Shit, the Waymo's got the lead. We gotta pick up the pace. Come on, Tesla. Now, there's a chance that I'll win just solely because I'm taking a different route. The Cruise wasn't willing to go down the uh, windy road, so I don't know how the guys are gonna do back there. All right, looks like the Waymo decided to go a different way. Hopefully our path ends up being faster. So the thing to note about the Waymo is that it can operate during any time of the day. It's 24 seven. So you essentially have 24 seven access to free rides. That's pretty dope. Uh, I can fit just three people back here versus way more I can fit to my front and obviously with Tesla, I can use all five or even seven seats. Like if there was a driver in the car right now, I wouldn't be able to talk freely like this. Whoa, what just happened? What do we stop for? All right, now we got a roundabout here. Beautiful. Couldn't have done it better myself. I think the Waymo's winning. Uh-oh, I see some flashing. No, that was like a Waymo. All right, is someone else going to be here or are we first? All right, let's, uh, let's decompress. Yeah. All right. All right. Good well, I think we should stand in order of who won. <laughs> oh, no. All right, podium so position. how does it work? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, podium position puts yeah, it in the middle. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, there we cool. go. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, I'll just start. I thought I had an advantage Dude, yeah. by being, uh, like, not going down Vermont Street. I didn't go down right. the line. You guys both went down the line yeah, street? Yeah, we both went down. Yeah. Okay, how'd it go? Really good. Well, it was a crazy road, but yeah, it handled it fine. This is a really crazy road. I mean, it's doing it right now really well. Wow. <laughs> and, and fast or you no? Fast. Okay. But I mean, so I struggled putting on my seatbelt when I first got in. There you go. Cool. Remember when we did the cruise, it wouldn't start until you were buckled in. Sure. So I thought it was the same thing sure. as the Waymo. It wasn't. So did you press start and then try to put your seatbelt on? Uh, I got in, I hit start, didn't have a seatbelt on. It started driving <laughs> and then it started yelling at me. <laughs> and I was like frantically trying to do the seatbelt. Finally did. Yeah, I had roughly the same situation, but I've been in more bolts than you. Yeah, than I mean, that was the cases. first time I was in a Waymo. Yeah. yeah. It was damn good. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about the actual yeah. ride. So the road did well. How was everything else? Did you guys have any incidents at all? Like, what was it like? Um, there was one moment for me, there was like a dump truck and the guy was like taking the trash <laughs> out and the Waymo was waiting and then literally squeezed right by him. Tight. The wow. dude was mad. Like he looked pissed <laughs> off. I got his face on camera. Oh wow. <laughs> and I was just like trying to say sorry, but I don't think he could see in because sure. it's tinted. And he was mad at the driver. I mean, <laughs> and he was just you. like, what the hell? Like, he's probably so annoyed with these things, right? Sure. Because he's trying to do his job. And the Waymo, I thought was gonna stop uh, for a pedestrian or something. It did not. It was just being pretty aggressive with squeezing by. Okay. So I think, yeah. I'll, I'll go next. I had something comfortable. randomly on one road. I don't know if it was a bird or something, but randomly on one road, I just stopped for like 10, maybe 15 seconds. I had a stop sign and it was what? like a, a firm what? stop. There was no just reason to stop and it just stayed there for, for maybe 20 seconds. Hmm. I'll have to look back at the footage to see how long. Yeah. Might've been that, calling the remote assistance. Sometimes they display that on the screen. It, it didn't, it didn't display anything. Nothing else hmm. happened. It just stopped hard stop and then resumed 30 seconds later. So yeah, it, must have thought it saw something. Yeah, I, I want to say maybe a bird landed. There was a manhole there. I don't know. But that was the first time I've had, like, a no obstruction stop in a cruise. Yeah. Uh, and, it, you know, if there was someone behind me, it would have been irritating. Was it sudden stop? Uh, we were already basically stopped for the stop mm, okay. sign. I don't know if it was any more aggressive in the actual stopping behavior. But the fact that it stopped as long as it did it for no reason was odd. Yeah. Yeah. I had a FSD was perfect? I mean, it wasn't perfect. Uh, went a little fast over some speed bumps so that was a little bit uncomfortable something i might have normally disengaged for but i was trying to be even with the waymo and cruise and as just sort of let it as possible yeah just let it sort of do its thing so it was pretty safe uh there was one accelerator press that i pushed where it was stopping for a yellow light and uh 
it was kind of a little bit late. Uh, like it was almost stopping a little bit, nosing into Ooh, the intersection a little okay. bit. So I gave it the accelerator press to go through. Other than that, no human input. Okay, okay. So just one So deduction. can we delay, it, delaying you by 30 seconds? I wasn't here. Would, who, who would have won if you were delayed by 30 seconds? He still would have been won. me, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was how far ahead of you? It was a few minutes. Yeah, oh, I mean, when he called me saying he was here waiting hard for two minutes, I was still five minutes out. So I would <laughs> say you were seven minutes ahead. And how far behind was I? Like 13. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. It took yeah. me like 30, I mean, I don't exactly know, but 30 some odd minutes, 35 minutes to get here. How long were yeah. you guys? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll minutes check, ish. but yeah. Yeah. Wow, incredible. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anything else we want to? It's pretty wild. Well, I mean, I just think it's incredible that the Tesla won without lidar, without HD maps, and with just one accelerator press. Mm -hmm. That's an incredible, you know, testament to what the Tesla team is doing. Now, what was your maximum speed relative to the speed limit? Because the cruise only goes a top mm. speed of 25. Yeah, it was I think 10% over. Okay, so that's not that bad. Yeah. Not not 10 miles per hour over. But, but you know what I you, what I think was the reason we uh, the Tesla actually won is because it took the highway. Oh, it took oh, the highway. Wow. It, it took the one. Oh, we did oh, not that take changed the everything. Yeah. So that that's the thing is the Waymo and Cruise by choice, and I have actually seen Waymos testing on the highway, mm -hmm. but not uh, with. But by oh. but by policy, they don't take the highway. Uh, I was yeah. wondering because I was like, I hope we don't get on the highway because. I don't feel comfortable in the back seat of that thing on sure. the highway. Sure. And sure enough, it didn't. I was like, oh, this is a great route. We didn't get on the highway. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't know that. Ah. Oh. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, obviously, I was not on the highway. Because I kept looking for you. I was like, I don't see him anywhere. I think I'm winning. Cool. <laughs> well, I'd say we, uh, we try this again in a couple months, see where we're at. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was pretty good. I mean, I just got to say, in extremely impressive engineering by Waymo, yeah. by Cruz, and by Tesla. I mean, the fact that you can take a driverless ride yeah. in the daytime with Waymo, mm -hmm. that Cruz has such a big service area, and that Tesla can do so much on a production car. I mean, you just look around, you see all these Teslas. Yeah. They're all going to be running this software. So just, you know, all three teams, I think, incredible it's work. Impressive it's work, absolutely. incredible work. It's incredible. But I would say it's more impressive to do it just off of cameras and vision and not a pre-routed, uh, pre-programmed. Like what I was noticing, which was actually pretty cool, was like there was 3D models of buildings, and you can navigate yeah, around it. That's in the, the HD map, screen. right? Yeah, which was nice. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but the thing is, like the Tesla's rendering those things real, real time, right? That's real true speed, which is like pretty impressive. Um, I would say it's more impressive though that we were able to be in the back of two of them versus sure. Tesla. Yeah. If something happened, you know, it's basically designed so you can take over. Obviously, we saw that one yellow light. He didn't have to take over, so that's right. impressive as well. Totally. So if you well, look just at the results today, yeah, I think the Tesla is definitely the most impressive. But the Waymo and Cruise have a level of reliability. If we exactly. tried it a hundred times, yeah. the Tesla would have several takeovers. Yes. The Waymo and Cruise would probably make it perfectly every yeah. time. We'll have to try a hundred times. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why they're like you can be in the back seat of one. Right. You know, yep. and, and I mean, it felt like I had a driver. Like it was, That's it was cool. a really yeah. freaky at first. I was like, man, like this, this is crazy. It's freaky, and, then it's uh, normal. And then it's normalized. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if there was music playing, it would be even better because it was like a, such a comfortable. You can play music. Right. You no, can, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. I just didn't want to do it for of audio. Course. but <laughs> Copyright. Um, <laughs> it was, uh, no, I was definitely, I definitely like the Waymo more than the Cruise. That's for sure. Yeah, okay. it seems to be faster. Um, quieter. And it's got faster, a bigger car. Yeah, you could it's sit a bigger front. car. You could sit up front. I didn't do that, but um, it's nice that you can. Mm -hmm. And uh, four people rather than three. It just seems like a better car. What's the cruise? What kind of car is that? That's a Chevy Bolt okay. versus an iPad. Discontinued now, but Got they're going to move to the cruise origin vehicles. I think. Yeah, it's going to be even more interesting. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll do it again then. Okay. Cool. Good stuff, guys. Great work, guys. Good work. <laughs> Good game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cut every camera.